Hi and welcome to a new playlist. Um, this one's called Hardware Cafe. The voiceover this time is going to be a little bit more improvised than you used to, but I'm running short on time this week, so I thought I'd rather make this a quick and dirty one. So this playlist is going to be um, focused a little bit more on tools than techniques, obviously. I'm going to take a look at uh, how to drive a project using Raspberry Pi and microcontrollers and stuff. Um, maybe use them as a standalone platforms for audio-related stuff. I've been playing around with uh, Raspberry Pi and LibPD. This is uh, the headless version of Purata um, in the past, but never used them together. So I thought this might be a worthwhile project to undertake and share with you. For this project, I used a Raspberry Zero with a Wi-Fi extension along with the Adafruit speaker bonnet, this thing here. So um, once this is assembled, we have to download the current um, Raspbian image, um, which is Raspbian stretch at this point. Uh, we're gonna take the headless one, the, the light one. And first of all, I'm gonna show you how to uh, set up a Raspberry Pi in headless mode, which means uh, it's, it's running without any GUI, just uh, the command line interface, uh, which is enough for our case, we don't need any graphical user interface. So first we're gonna look at the mount point of the SD card we just uh, etched. Um, and then simply touch a file called SSH there, which is gonna enable um, the SSH configuration on, on startup. And secondly, to um, make our Wi-Fi work uh, from, from boot up time, um, we have to copy a WPA supplicant um, config file there and fill it in with our um, SSID and uh, credentials for, for the Wi-Fi. So once this is done, um, basically Wi-Fi connection will work out of the box, so we can SSH into the device and see what's next. Next, we have to uh, install all the dependencies we need for building LibPD from source, which is the preferred way of doing it. So just uh, follow me on this. Oops, it seems like Git isn't installed uh, per default on the Raspbian image, so I'm gonna fetch this as well. And say make, which will basically uh, build the C sources. Ah, it seems like something else is still missing. Um, we have to fetch and in it these git sub modules which will basically pull in the Jodata source files which are of course necessary for building LPD. On the limited hardware of the Raspberry Pi Zero this process took around 10 minutes so uh, this is a very heavy speed up here. Meanwhile we have to set up the speaker bonnet uh, audio drivers, which is a pretty straightforward process thanks to the build script provided by the Adafruit folks. You just have to head to the website provided in the resources below and uh, follow along the instructions. I used this simple Pyodata FM patch to test out the capabilities of LibPD. And I thought I'd take the Python approach first. It seemed easy enough, uh, it turned out it wasn't easy at all. So first we have to install the Python dev uh, package and make again in the Python folder. Which ends in a build error and it took me around uh, two hours of googling around what is the case here. It turns out that um, there is a security um, vulnerability issue with sprintf and it's fixed in a pull request on GitHub which I just checked out in the uh, Pyodata submodule folder. So 
make again. Secure copy CPR test files onto, onto the Raspberry Pi. And this is what I got. Which isn't surprising at all if we look at the CPU consumption um, of this process. Which wasn't satisfying at all, so I thought I just uh, go along and try out the C++ um, examples. We have to install the Jack daemon and the development headers for this. And used my pure data uh, test file. This resulted in a more pleasant audio experience. And also put less stress on the CPU. So I hope you enjoyed this one and um, see you in the next video.